Hello, baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans, particularly. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here today with just another matchup from history. Uh, it's not a necessarily a mismatch Monday. It might turn out to be that way because I got a good look at the teams. But we're going to have the uh, 1947 New York Giants on the road in the Astrodome versus the 1976 Houston Astros. So the uh, Giants were 81 and 73, which was really well over 500 because of the fact that they only played 154 games. But they were still fourth place in the NL. And um, the 76 Houston Astros were... Um, they were 80 and 82. So um, that is uh, just under 500, but it is only one fewer win. However, I'm guessing that the Giants in the, in the 1947 season were up against a lot stiffer competition than the 76 Houston Astros were in the 76 National League. And they were under 500. So we'll see. We'll see how they fare. Both teams are fairly good. Both teams have their share of stars. I will go over the lineups as the teams come up, and that means we're going to go over the Giants lineup first. Uh, the first batter will be Bobby Thompson, the guy who hit the shot heard around the world. He'll lead off and play center field. Then you are going to have Buddy Kerr batting second and playing shortstop for the Giants. Batting third will be Willard Marshall, and he'll be playing right field. Then you got Johnny Mize playing first base. He hit 51 home runs in 1947. Then you got Willard Cooper, or Walker Cooper. Walker Cooper will be the catcher, and he is going to uh, bat fifth. And then you've got, after him, you've got um, Gordon. Let's see what his name is. I got it. Man, the cards are, see, the cards are sticking together. This is, we had this, this conversation. <laughs> Sid Gordon. Sid Gordon, and he will play left field. And then uh, Rigney is going to be the next batter. Bill Rigney, the second baseman. And then you're going to have Jack Lorke, or Lork, batting eighth and playing third base. And pitching today will be Larry Jansen for the Giants and batting ninth. In 1947, he was 21 and 5 with a 316 earned run average. Now that lineup is going to face the Astros pitcher today, who will be Joe Negro, none other than the Joe Negro, brother of Nutsy, brother of Phil Negro. In 1976, he was only four and eight with a 336 earned run average, only had 13 starts and 118 innings pitch, but I chose to go with him just because he's a well-known name to fans of 70s baseball. And so we will get on with the game. Bobby Thompson is the first batter, and I let the dice slip out of my hand, which happens quite often. And that is a 3-9, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Bobby Thompson strikes out. First strikeout for Necro. And we move along in the lineup to Buddy Kerr. Buddy Kerr getting a 5-11. 5-11 will be a... It's not. It's going to be a fly ball. It would have been a ball... I mean, it was a ballpark home run. But, interestingly, the Astrodome, for singles and for home runs, for both batters, is just a one. Otherwise, it's a fly ball. So, he flies out. Um, he flies out to left field. And that brings up Willard Marshall. And Willard Marshall is a gets a 310, and that is a line out to second base. So after one, or after well, after the first inning for the Giants, they have no runs. And again, you can see I've got my scores right here. You can follow the scores, and the uh, scoreboard will mark what inning we're in, and we're going to the bottom of the first. The Astros lineup will be Enos Cabell leading off and playing third base, followed by Gold Glove quality center fielder Cesar Cedeno batting second, and then Julio, uh, Jose Cruz batting third and playing left field, 
Bob Watson will bat in the cleanup spot and play first base. Cliff Johnson has a little bit of power at catcher, but he's a terrible defensive catcher. He'll be batting fifth. And then batting sixth, one of my all-time favorite players, Greg Gross, will be batting sixth and playing right field. And then you're going to have, uh, I, th I think it's Rob Andrews. Yes, Rob Andrews will bat seventh and play second base. And then Roger Metzger, a gold glove quality shortstop, will bat eighth, followed by Joe Necro batting in the ninth spot. And so we will get on with this. Enos Cabell, the first batter, he gets a 2-5. And that will be a fly to right. So there's one out, and uh, that brings up Cesar Cedeno. And he gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a ground to third base. So he goes out 5-3, two down quickly, and Jose Cruz. The left fielder is up. He gets a 4-6, and that will be a ground ball to first base. And so no runs come in for the Astros in the first inning. And um, we're going to pick it back up in the second with the uh, uh, Giants lineup sending up this inning at least Johnny Mize, Walker Cooper, and Sid Gordon. And here is Mize, and he gets a 3-3. Three, three, and that is going to be a foul out to the catcher. There's one down, and Walker Cooper's up. Walker Cooper with a 6-9. And that will be a triple. Walker Cooper, the catcher, hits a triple, and he's going to be over at third base. So that's the first hit that Necro allowed, and boy, was it a big one. There's a man 90 feet away now with one down and Sid Gordon up. And Sid Gordon gets a 6-5. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for Houston is a 1-E-12. And that is a 20. So we'll go and refer to the chart and see what that gets us. That is going to be a ground ball A. And so the runner will not advance on that. Um... So we've got two down and a man still at third base as Gordon goes out 6-3 and that bing brings up Phil Rigney. Rigney, it's all up to Rigney here. He has to try to get a hit to knock that runner in. And it is a 6-5 and that is going to be a ground ball to shortstop. He is again a one and that is, let's see if this is it is going to be on his air rating, and he is a an E12. So we will roll for that. And that is a 6 on an E12 for shortstop. And that is going to be a ground ball. And so they did not knock that key runner in. The last two guys going out 6-3 to a very good shortstop. And uh, no runs come in. We go to the bottom of the second. Still zero all. And uh, Bob Watson, the cleanup hitter for Houston, starts it off. He gets a 5-5. Five, five, and that is going to be a ground ball to short. So he goes out 6-3. There's one down, and up steps Cliff. Clifford Johnson. A little power for him, 210, and that is going to be a double. So Cliff Johnson hitting a double, and we'll just put that runner over there at second. Should have been taken completely off, but that's the first hit Jansen's given up. So the pitchers are pitching quite well here in the early going. Greg Gross, who became a glorified pinch hitter later in his career for the Phillies, most notably, gets a 4-8, and that will be a fly ball center field two away and that brings up Rob Andrews the second baseman and that is going to be a 
2.5, let's see here, 2.5, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. And no runs come in for the Astros. We go to the top of the third inning in a zero-all game with Jack Lork being the batter. And he gets a 3-6. That's going to be a line out to third base. One out. And the pitcher is up, and that is Larry Jansen. And let's get him off of second base because there's nobody out there now. And that is a 5-8. Five 5-8 eight. Five eight is going to be a strikeout, as you might well expect with the pitcher. And that is Necro's second strikeout. There's two down. And Bobby Thompson up back to the top of the order for the Giants, 6-4. And 6-4 is a ground to the shortstop. We've already established that's pretty much, um, that's on the uh, air rating. He is a uh, 12, and that is a roll of 10. So an E12-10 is a ground ball, and he is out. So the pitchers, this is, we got ourselves a little uh, pitcher's duel here. Not a barn burner. It's going to the bottom of the third inning. Tied at zero with Roger Metzger, the eighth batter for Houston. He gets a 5-8. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Giants is a 3-E25. That is an 18, 18 and 3, probably an out. I'm going to guess, and it is, so he goes out 4-3. And Necro is up with one down. Now, he is a six-hitting pitcher, so getting on his card is not necessarily a bad thing. And right there, it is definitely not a bad thing. It is a home run. So... Joe Negro hits a home run and gives his team their first run of the game. And uh, that is going to be the second hit given up by Jansen, and it happens to be a long ball by the pitcher. And that's part of the reason I started Negro. So there's one down with uh, one run in and Cabell up. Enos Cabell, he gets a 6-9. That is going to be a strikeout. So there's two down. Jansen with his first strikeout. That's the first guy. He is Cade today and Caesar Sedania. And he gets a 4-10. And that will be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a, their shortstop is a 2-E-19. That is a 20. That is going to be an out. But Houston strikes for a run on a Joe Necro, of all people, home run. So let's get the one for them. Going to put the one out there, as you can see, and it is in the screen, so that's good. And um, we're going to the top of the fourth with Robbie Thompson up. Or no, actually, no, it isn't. It's Willard Marshall. Why are we up on Bobby Thompson? So Willard Marshall is the batter. He gets a 5-10. That is a catcher card, X. The catcher, of course, we discussed is Cliff Johnson, who isn't good. He's a 4-E-13. That is a roll of 13. Um... So, oh, that's a 13, and he's a 4. That is a pop. That's a pass ball followed by pop out. So he pops out to Cliff Johnson. There's one down. And Johnny Mize, the 51 home run man, gets a 6 8. And that will be a fly to center field. There's two down, 
and Walker Cooper at the plate. And he gets a 6-5. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 1. What is 1-1 one and one at shortstop? That might be a little challenging. And maybe not. It isn't. It's a ground ball. So it is 6-3. And out he goes. And no runs coming in for the Giants in the 4th. Necro continues to play to shut them out, and he is the only one that is accounted for their run. We're going to the bottom of the fourth with Cesar Cedeno up. And he gets a 1-3. That's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. One down, and Jose Cruz is up. And he gets a 4-8. And 4-8 is going to be a fly ball to center field. Two away. And Bobby Watson, Bob Watson, their big home run hitter. He gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Jansen strikes out his second guy. He holds the Astros to nothing in the fourth. We're going to the top of the fifth in a one nothing game. And again, that one nothing, that one run is all because Joe Necro hit a home run and Sid Gordon is the batter. He gets a 1-9 and that is going to be a fly ball to left field. One away. And Bill Rigney is the batter. One down, nobody on, and that is a 2-4. And that is going to be a ground ball to third. And with two out, you got Jack Lork up. He had some power, too. 2-8, two, that's going to be a pop-out to short, though. And so the Giants get nothing in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, and Cliff Johnson is the catcher, and he is the guy batting. And he gets a 110. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. A lot of six threes today here. And uh, Greg Gross is the batter. Greg Gross getting a 211 is a ground ball to third. He goes out 5-3. There's two down quickly. Both pitchers pitching really well. And the only mistake Larry Jansen made was a pitch to Necro that he grooved. And Rob Andrews gets a 3-8. And that will be a pop out to second base. So no runs for the Astros in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Larry Jansen's uh, the batter, but they're going to let him back because, I mean, he really is pitching quite well, really. And 1-5 uh, is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So he is out, 6-3. One down, and Robbie Th Bobby Thompson gets a 6-7. And 6-7 will be a ground ball to the second baseman, the second baseman for Houston is a 2E22. That is a 15. I'm going to guess that's probably an out, and it is. And he goes out 4-3. And that brings up Buddy Kerr. The Giants just can't get anything. And they've got guys with 30. they got like three or four guys with 30-plus home runs. 2-3 uh, is a foul out to first base. So this is really crazy because they are, the Giants are being held to nothing by Necro. I mean, I knew Necro was good and I knew he would pitch pretty well, but I didn't expect him to pitch this well. Roger Metzger, the shortstop for Houston, is at the plate. He gets a 5-7. That is going to be a, uh, that's going to be a double. So Roger Metzger is aboard with a double. And... That brings up Necro, who we have established is not only a good hitter because he's a six-hitting uh, pitcher, but he hit a home run his last time up, so he's going to hit. He gets a 4-8. Four, 4-8, eight. Four, eight, and that is going to be a fly ball to left. So there's one out. You can't expect them to do that every time. <laughs> Enos Cabell, the batter with one down, 6-6. Six, six. That is going to be a... 
single double asterisk. And so that knocks in a run. Cabell with a single and an RBI. And Jansen gives up his fourth hit and his second run of the game. Now there's a man at first with only one down, and Cedeno is the batter. And he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout, two away. That's the third strikeout of the game for Jansen, and Jose Cruz is the batter. Jose Cruz getting a 6-3, and that will be a... Uh, that is a home run. Jose Cruz hits a home run. He gets a one. He rolls a one on that. It was a ballpark homer, and it is a home run. So two, run, two more runs come in on that. That scores Cabell and Cruz, and now Jansen is in some real trouble. Because now he's given up four runs and, uh, you know, the Giants can't seem to, for some reason, touch Necro at all. Bob Watson is the batter. He gets a 1-4. And that is a home run. Another home run. <laughs> so now Jansen just is all of a sudden falling apart. And uh, that's the sixth hit he's allowed. The fifth run. And uh, Cliff Johnson is the back. And he gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a fly ball to center. Finally, mercifully, that comes to an end, but not before the Astros strike for four runs and now have a 5 nothing lead. That looks kind of, uh, you know, I would say insurmountable. I mean, do we want to say that right at this point that it's insurmountable for a team that has a lot of guys with a lot of home runs? I don't know. You make the decision. I'm going to slide this down just a little bit. So there you go. It is 5 nothing Astros right now. And Negro, of course, still going out there. He'll pitch to Willard Marshall. And that is a 1-8. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. So he goes out 4-3. Um, oh, wait a minute. I'm uh, inning behind. All right. Because we're in the seventh. Willard Marshall. Um, what was that? 1-8? One 1-8. Eight? Um, one eight. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is... Um, no, this is Willard Marshall. So 1-8 is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes out 1-3. There's one down. That brings up Johnny Mize. And we are in the top of the seventh, actually. So let's get that right. That is a 3-10, and that's going to be a pop-out to third. And Walker Cooper. Walker Cooper with a 4-3. And that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 4-E-36. That's a 15. And that's going to be a... And on a 36 probably is going to be an error. 5 on a 36 is going to be a one base error. So he gets on by an error by the pitcher. And that brings up Sid Gordon. And he gets a 4-3. And that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher again. And he is a 4. And that is a 3. So that's going to be big time. That is going to be a single double asterisk and put runners at the corner. So the Giants have their first threat going. That's only the second hit that Negro's allowed, though. And Bill Rigney is. 
And B Bill Rigney gets a 4-3. Unbelievable. It's a ground ball to the pitcher again. And he is a 4. Still a 4. He hasn't changed. He, that's a 13. E36. Probably going to be an error that will allow a run to score. And that is a 6. And uh, let's see. That is a 6. And that is an E1. So a run comes in on yet another error by... Um, by uh, by Necro, and that is three guys allowed on in a row after his inning of weakness. So now the asterisk comes into uh, play as a as a base hit with uh, Lork the batter, and he gets a five eleven batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball, and so that mercifully ends it. It's a fly ball to left field. But the Giants do get one in the top of the seventh, so we can confidently say that they're on the on the on the board. And uh, the uh, Mark, you know what? Um, Jansen is coming up at the start of next inning, um, or let's see, yeah, he'll go. He's going to lead off next inning. So they're going to let him pitch this inning because he's really only had one really bad inning. He did give up a home run to Necro, uh, but he only really had one bad inning, and so Greg Gross is going to hit against him. Now, he is in inning of weakness nine, so he hasn't even hit his inning of weakness yet, so that, that shouldn't be a factor. We're in the bottom of the seventh, and Greg Gross batting. And he gets a 4-8, and that's going to be a fly to center. One away. Rob Andrews is up. He gets a 2-10. That's going to be a ground ball second base. And... Roger Metzger is the batter, and he gets a 5-8, and that is going to be a strikeout. And that is a strikeout for Jansen, fourth of the game. And that means that uh, we're going to the top of the eighth with the Giants batting. They're going to pinch hit for Larry Jansen, and the Astros are going to take Necro out of the game. So Necro only pitches... Um, seven innings, actually I say only, but that's actually pretty good. He pitches seven innings, allows two hits, and he did allow one run, but it was unearned because it scored mainly because he made two errors in that inning that allowed the runners to score. And so we have to find a reliever, and uh, that reliever is going to be Paul Siebert. Paul Siebert in 1976 was 0-2 with a 3.16 earned run average. He pitched 26 innings and allowed 29 hits. And he is going to be the pitcher for uh, Houston. He's the new pitcher. And they are going to pinch hit the Giants, Will, for uh, Larry Jansen. And that is going to be, let's see here, Siebert is a lefty. So, yeah, they're going to pinch hit Ernie Lombardi, who is a backup catcher for the team, but he is going to hit. So we mark this down, pinch hitter in the eighth. against the new pitcher, Siebert. And he gets a 1-8, which is going to be a strikeout. So he's out. Oh, okay. And we lost his card, but that's fine. We'll get it later. Because um, he's already gone. <laughs> and uh, that brings up Bobby Thompson with one down. And that's a 2-6, which is going to be a strikeout.
and Siebert gets his first strikeout. There's two down. And Buddy Kerr out. He gets a 412. 412 is a ground ball third base. So no run score for the Giants. We go to the bottom of the eight. The Giants need a new pitcher, so they'll send one out there. And uh, let's see who's it going to be. Hmm. They don't really have a lot of uh, great relief pitchers here. We're going to go with Joe Beggs. Beggs will come in in 1947. He was 3 and 6 with a 458 earned run average, 98 innings pitched, 123 hits allowed. So he can be hit up, that's for sure. And uh, Jansen only went 7, right? Um, or did he go did he just go 6? I think he just went 6. Um And Beggs is coming in to pitch. No, the Astros were out in the seventh. So this is the eighth. Yeah, this is the eighth. Okay, so he did go seven. And Beggs will come in after seven in the bottom of the eighth here to pitch to the Houston lineup that will lead off with a... Um, they're going to lead off with Siebert, and they're going to keep Siebert out there. So um, he is a batting, well, he's a he's a batting five. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's a batting one. So he is a one hitter, but they're going to let him, they're going to let him hit. He gets a five, four. And that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the Giants is a 3E31. That is a 12. So that is going to be on the 31, which means it's probably going to be an error. Four on a 31. And that is going to be an E1, yes. So the pitcher gets a board with, on an error by the third baseman. Which brings up Venus Cabell. And he gets a 3-9. That's going to be a strikeout. Wait a minute. Yeah. Strikeout. That's the first strikeout for Beggs. One down. Cedeno up. Cedeno gets a 6-12. And that's going to be a ground ball to second. The second baseman for them is a 3E25. That's an 11. And that's going to be on the E25. That'll probably be uh, an error. It is a, it's an eight roll. It is, no, it's a ground ball double play. So he grounds into a double play. And that is going to be the inning. Five, four, three, double play, or three, I don't know, four, three, whatever it is, it's a double play. So no runs come in for the Giants in the uh, in the eighth. They're only going to have one more chance. We're going to the bottom of the eighth with um, Willard Marshall batting against uh, Siebert, who is going to stay out there. Now, as a reliever, his inning of weakness is two, so he's in his inning of weakness right now. Um, wait a minute. We're in the bottom of the eighth. We're in the bottom of the eighth. And, uh, no, we're in the top of the ninth. Okay, that's, wait, we're in the top of the ninth? If we're in the top of the ninth, then that means, I thought that they just batted. 
No, we are. I guess we're in the top of the ninth. All right, according to my scorebook, we're in the top of the ninth, which means Willard Marshall is up, and so this is their chance right here. They have to get four runs. And that's going to be a 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, six against Siebert is going to be a single. So they, uh, they lead off the right way. And they have their big hitters, their big home run hitters coming up. That's the first hit Siebert's allowed. Johnny Mize is up. He gets a 3-4. That is going to be a an out. That's a pop out to first base. So one down. It's a good thing I got the scorebook. Otherwise, I would have been completely lost. Walker Cooper is the batter. He had 30-something home runs, 6-7. And that is going to be a line out to third base. So the Giants are down to their last out. And that is going to be in the person of Sid Gordon. And Sid Gordon gets a 2-6. That is going to be a line out to third base. And so the Giants do lose this game by the final score of 5-2-1. The Astros win the game. I am surprised that the Giants only got one run. They have so many guys with a lot of home runs. It was quite surprising they only got one. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.